We're here in Lac Megantic just after the official announcement of Canada's Olympic road team talking with Denise Kelly, uh, national coach for the women's team which consists of three riders, Clara Hughes, Denise Ramston and Joelle Newmanville. Uh, Denise, obviously you were involved, heavily involved in that selection. Can you talk a little bit about um, the choices that were made and, 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 and how you came to the selection that you did? Um, yeah, we, uh, the selection is never easy and I must say that's probably one of the most difficult parts of my job. Um, but when um, we decided to go with a team that would have the best possibility for a medal on the road. And to do that, we have the best components possible. We have Clara who, all-rounder, opportunist, able to do breaks, able to do lead outs, able to win from pretty much any situation and then we needed to bring a sprinter because uh, from a lot of accounts this may end up in a bunch sprint and Joelle has proven that um, this year in Flanders was a huge huge example of that so we took her so the third spot was the one where, where it took a lot of thought and um, as the process went through it became very clear that we needed a very strong wor workhorse and somebody who has proven that they can give themselves completely and utterly to the team for the teammates and Denise has been doing that for at least a couple of years now and this year she's even uh, shown even more that she has that ability and capability to do that. Okay. Yeah, because I guess one of the questions was obviously Tara Witten um, you know fourth at the uh, Worlds last year in the time trial, always a super strong performer, but the question was, would she do the road as well as the track? And obviously she's decided to focus on the track. When, um, when did it become a point where, you, where Tara was no longer part of the equation? Well, we got the official word. Um, Tara sent uh, an email in response to her nomination to the pool at the beginning of June, June 6th. And that's when she let us know that she was going to be s focusing solely on the track. That, that did change the landscape um, quite a bit. Um, Tara is a, an absolute proven performer. I mean, we saw at Gatineau, she had not done much road training and had come off a block of rest and then a stage race in the States and did amazingly. So um, when she withdrew her nomination, we had a little bit more to play with in terms of how we wanted to compose the team and one of the major major aspects besides the physiological factors for the course and um, and the results of the riders is the synergy of the team we really wanted to ensure that we had the best synergy possible going into the game so that everyone could go in there knowing that it's a team effort and that everybody has each other's backs so, I mean, Jacques said um, in, in, in his talk about anything less than two medals would be disappointing for Canada. I mean, from your perspective, uh, you've got, you know, the road race and the time trial. Um, you're, um, what's, what, what will be satisfactory um, or for, 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 for you, for, for the women's team? satisfactory would be to have one medal for sure and I mean Clara's performance in the time trial she was she's just started racing in Europe this year and she was on every podium on the, in the international scene for time trials whether it be one day races or stage races today she just completely and utterly dominated and had a had a complete world-class Olympic class Olympic medal performance in the time trial so you know you can never I mean I would love to say that that would be it but um, as well in the road race um, with with Clara with Joelle with Denise the possibility exists and we're going in there to get a medal Okay, well, well, we'll look forward. I'll be over there to cover it, and uh, I'll be looking forward to hopefully seeing Canadian on the podium as well. Great. Thanks a lot, Rob.